Alesia. Julius Caesar awaits the surrender of Vercingetorix, the Gallic chief he has just defeated in battle. Caesar's resounding victory whets his appetite for power. From now on, that appetite will know no bounds. Step a little livelier, you turtle belly slowpoke. <laughs> I've got two over here who seem to think something's funny. Be right there. There's no laughing here. Gonna get a flick of my whip, you. Uh. Ah. Caesar dictates his commentary Just on the battle. Just as I suspected, the Gauls were no match for my Roman legions. I attacked them on all fronts, and they scattered like a flock of frightened chickens. We captured the runaways at Elysia. I wanted to proclaim that when I wage a campaign, there's no such thing as opposition. All must bow to my legions. Tomorrow, Rome will rule the world, and those brutes won't have the Gaul to prevent it. If I have to, I'll crush every last one of them. But I want the world to know it. Tree chief, look pretty nice at your place, don't you think, huh? Hey, you big boy, bring me that tree now. How about that? <laughs> to cross or not to cross, that is the question. The Republic is really in danger this time, but we, the distinguished members of the Senate, will put a stop to that ambitious little general, down with Caesar. Aye! Down with Caesar! Forward. No, give me that goose, it's mine. I saw it before you. Forward. No, but... With Caesar's triumph, Rome in no time became the capital of the world. <laughs> At the gate of Minutius, wheat is distributed to the people. Dax, please. When you're lucky enough to be a Roman citizen, why work? Especially when the city is sure to provide bread. And games. Caesar had two semicircular theaters built side by side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At his signal, the two enormous buildings were swung around to form one huge circus. His invention would open up a whole new world in the realm of public entertainment. Ah, there is Caesar. Ave 
Constructed mostly of wood, the buildings in the older section of the city were fire hazards. Local firemen had their hands full. Fire and flame, the gift of eloquence, much like fire, needs to be fueled, fed. Like fire, eloquence depends on motion for existence and sheds light only by burning itself out. Now, if it ever happens at fire... Good day, good day. For the glory of Rome, we are going to build roads. So simple, really. Look, some sand, a few pebbles, some flagstones. They'll begin right here. Now for a little demonstration. Watch me well. First, a slab. Uh, well, no, that's not it. It's, uh, uh, first, the sand, uh, then your slab. Uh, some pebbles. Uh, no, not the pebbles. Uh, the slab. I, I mean a pebble. Uh, the roads will lead from this column. From this hub, they'll run like spokes over the world. Such glory for Rome. <laughs> and, of course, for me. But, but, great Caesar's going... <laughs> the rules of the Roman road were proceed straight ahead, regardless of terrain. Which uh, could sometimes cause problems. Uh, uh, oh, I... Ow! an amphitheater we could build there. Ooh, fantastic acoustics. Hold it, hold everything, stop our work, cease work, we'll construct a superb amphitheater. Mm -hmm. But, Master, I've no plans for that, none at all. We've no materials to use, all the flagstones are in the road. Ah, we tear them all up, tear them up right away. Go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> What's all this? What's going on? Huh? Oh. Now, listen here now. I wouldn't inconvenience her too much. Tell me where's the road. Uh, but, General, have you seen the magnificent amphitheater? We built in its place. Huh? Hmm. Don't you agree? Burr, I 
left by order of Caesar, you're to keep building. Artists and soldiers will never agree. But of course, look. That's so nice. That feels good. <laughs> uh, much nicer like that. Why? Wasn't it a good idea to build these hot baths, General? <laughs> all right, all right. No need for discussion. I'm warning you, if you ever try it again! Here, just taste a bit of this water. It's excellent. You've been ordered to Rome, Master. Caesar's orders. This chariot has been assigned to you. Oh, no, no. None of these hot rods for me. My litter. These are a little puny. I'll take... Uh, give me that one. And that one. Proceeding with my urban renewal plan will demolish the walls of the old city and rewrote the timer. Rearrange the Campus Martius and construct the Roman Forum right here. But Caesar, there isn't enough room. What? Not enough room? It's up to us to make room. <laughs> Buildings are torn down, only to be put back together. <laughs> Lowers the unemployment rate. Promises, 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 that's all you'll ever hear, my fellow Romans. Unite against our oppressors, strength in numbers. It's ridiculous what's happening in our city. Enough of this tyranny, corruption. Where is all our tax money going? With the help of my latest invention, you'll be freed from your tiring chores. You'll see. Fine, all right, roll them. Look here now, a brilliant stroke. Ha ha ha. There now. Oh, uh, but what's going on? Hold it, uh, wait, this isn't happening. All oh, my stars and garters. Jupiter's quick at Oh, no, 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 no. In spite of one or two minor setbacks, work is proceeding normally. Not much progress being made here. All must be finished in eight months. Uh, uh, Caesar, uh, 12 months. No, eight months. And uh, listen here now, Caesar. And uh, listen to Granddad. Well, I'm listening. During each year, we have first spring, then summer, fall, and then winter, followed by another spring, summer, and so forth and so on. The full moon returns three times each season, in theory, anyway, uh, depending on the season. That uh, makes a total of 365 days, one year, 12 months, see? I agree, that's the way it is. And so, 46 years before the year one, our calendar, the Julian, was invented. Hey, you two, come and look. Oh, uh, after you. My very latest invention, a water clock. A work of genius, don't you think? Fire, fire! Fire! Excuse me, excuse me. Oh. Watch out! Hang on! I'm coming! Hang on! Step on it! This is heavy! Run! Save yourself! Oh. Daddy, Daddy. 
Thank you, dear friend. You'll be richly rewarded. But these are slaves. You can't just do That's that. That's enough. What's my business? Go on. I'll settle it with your superior. Don't forget my raise. Patrician Lucius Sergius's new house is built atop one of the city's seven hills. Because of their bravery during the fire, our friends have a pleasant time of it there. Hi there, Pierrette. How's things? Not bad, and you? Coming, Pierrette? Oh. A freshly shaven, well, practically, Lucius Sergius is ready to receive his clientele. They tell him their problems and he dispenses counsel, recommendations, or even better, a sportula, which can be a few silver coins, or a basket laden with food, as long as there is food to give. Bring my litter. Lucius, in turn, pays a visit to his patron to reassure him of his undying loyalty. And... They understand each other uh, perfectly. <laughs> and how is my dear friend? Fine, quite fine, my friend. citizens spent a great deal of their time engaged in political discussion, and sometimes in the most unlikely places. future in the stars. And this healthy Let young man who wants to buy my fine young man fresh off the ship from Nubia. Hmm? And how about this fair young lady? Here, my good friends, come see. None other than my very latest invention, my column driving machine. Mm. And it is absolute perfection. Just brilliant, eh, what? Here, come see. Stop that. Oh, no, no. Turn it off. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, no, it's not happening. No, no, this can't be. Turn it off! Stop a mess! Stop it! Shut it off! Oh, Lordy, I'll stop it! Oh, no. Evening falls. Dark streets are no longer safe. The citizens of Rome return home, bar their doors, and make sure all valuables are safely inside. After that, the only sounds echoing through the streets are the rumble of convoys laden with food and supplies for the city. Ah. 
come. Come quick, we're late. Hello, Pira. Hello. Study three, hard four. now. Three plus one makes a four. Now the Earth is a ball suspended in the sky, which forms a solid and a hollow sphere around it. Inside the sphere revolves the sun shining on all the poor devils who live upside down on the other side of the Earth. All along the Tiber, where Pierre has gone for a stroll, can be found riches from all over the world. Egyptian wheat. Spanish oil, lead, copper, silver, ivory, fabrics, spices, silks. But Pierre's master is waiting for him at the baths. <laughs> Good day. Ave. Are my partners here? Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Now bring the column over here. Hurry it up now. Uh, no, stop. Uh, a bit higher there. Oh, oh, it's you. Hello. Good day. Good day. Good day. But where are you? Hey, wait for me! The constellation of the stars predicts great changes for Rome. Whatever am I doing here? Yes, there oh, will yes, be great, hurry. great changes. Caesar. I appreciate your concern, my friend, but they wouldn't dare. No. A few decades later, a child was conceived whose birth would mark the year one of our modern era. And that birth would have an unparalleled impact on the history of mankind.